Off there on Rocky and Bullwinkle this time. But that trick never works. Welcome to Cloud Hoppers, everybody. I'm Claude Headgate. I'm going to have a swell, uh, good music and bad joke type program here for you. And we have uh, Alice Lake running all the cameras out here in the studio, just back and forth on roller skates like a blur. We have John Hose directing and running the switcher on all the new equipment here at the uh, new studio. And we have. Uh, of course, Bo Peep, sound, character generator, and sound effects. And we have Jay Kusa making sure that we get this all just right. Now, a special treat for everybody tonight. We have some guest artists. The Run Amuck Studio Band is at the buffet down the street. And they won't be joining me tonight. But we have a couple of swell guests. We have Ev Burkhard playing the uh, seven-string Epiphone Dobro. Now, what's the deal with the, with the seven seven-string? <laughs> and we got uh, Lestar joining us on the Blonde Jumbo Guild. Hey. Oh, that's good to have you. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're, uh, we're going to do a program for you. Did you have some yeah, some good news for us? Uh, didn't yeah, you some great news. We got invited. We got invited to play on CBS. CBS. Paid gig. Yeah, I, wow. Well, I, don't know, I don't know how paid it is. It, what do you mean? CBS. Well, it's Chico Bus Station is where it is. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seven string epiphone, by golly. So I heard you were really lonesome. 
replied. I'm so lonesome, I don't even, I don't even get junk mail. Oh, well, that's, oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm so lonesome, I don't even get recorded phone messages. That's, that's even worse. Not as lonesome as me, though. I was so lonesome the other night, I went outside to howl like a coyote. You know what happened? The coyotes laughed at me. <laughs> now everybody's going out and having Can we start that again? Put a nickel in it and now put a quarter in it. Stick, stick on the gas pedal there, Dave. Now everybody's going out and having fun I'm just a fool for staying home and having none I can't get over how she set me free Oh, lonesome me Well, I guess I better start getting with what's going down I should go get dressed and go and paint the town I'm a lovesick fool that's blind and just won't see Oh, lonesome me Well, I bet she's not like me She's out there fancy free Flirting with the boys with all her charm And I still miss her so But if you can know I welcome her right back here in my be some way that I can lose these lonesome blues Forget about the past and start loving new I've thought of everything from A to Z Oh, lonesome me
never seem to see her in the good times or the sad shine. You've never been a friend of mine, rainy day woman. You have been a friend of mine, rainy day woman. Good job, Richard. Well, thanks ever so much. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Nice you could make it in tonight. Well, I got a short story to tell the folks about. The, it's somebody we all know. I'm not going to say his name. And, you know, he's worked hard all his life. Whatever he made, he gave most of it away. Probably sent, educated more kids than, uh, than uh, most of us have relatives. But he retired just a couple of months ago, and he told me he was thinking. He, bought something for everybody and he hasn't gotten anything for himself so he went down to Roseville and got himself a red convertible zoom zoom yeah and as he was coming back he pushed down the gas pedal wind was in his hair he's feeling like he's 20 years old pushed down the gas Jesus gas pedal works nice he pushes it down a little farther he's going 55 60 75 85 miles an hour is blue light behind him he thinks to himself, I can outrun this guy. He puts it in the bucket up to 115 for about 30 seconds, and he realizes, I'm 69. I, I'm, I'm too old for this. And so he pulls over to the side of the road. The cop gets out of his car, real disgusted, looking at his watch. Comes up to him. He says, you know, you're going to cost me 45 minutes of paperwork, and I'm supposed to get off work in, in a half an hour. If you can tell me a story I've never heard before, I'll let you off. And the guy thinks for a minute and he says, Well, 15 years ago, my wife ran off with a highway patrolman. And I thought you were bringing her back. <laughs> now, what was the beginning of that? <laughs> oh, is that right? No. Nope. No. <laughs> We're going down the road. It's probably about the Okay. Trailer for sale or rent. Room to let 50 cents. No phone, no phone, no pen. You ain't got no cigarettes on it. Two hours of the pushing room. Eight to two bit room. King of the
Oh, uh, yes, uh, Roger Miller wrote that song by Golly. Good job, Ev. What did the fish say when he swam into the cement wall? Jeez, Quad, I don't know. Damn! <laughs> What weighs how much and, and lies where? Last time. Yeah, though, well, let's see. Something weighs, okay, you guys, what weighs 600,000 pounds, lies on the bottom of the ocean, and shivers? And quivers and every quivers, yeah. Well, shivers I have and quivers. no idea. A nervous wreck. Oh. This one goes out for bubbles. I was down in Savannah eating cream and bananas when the heat just made me faint. I'd begun to get cross-eyed. I thought I was lost. I'd begun to see things as they ate. As the relatives gathered to see what's the matter, the doctor came to see was I dying. And the doctor said, give him drug and music. It seems to make him feel just fine. I was told a little tale about a skinny as a rail. Eight-foot cowboy with a headache. He was caught up in the desert swamp with rats and tried to get a drink of water with his knees are getting mucky. And I'll tell you in a sentence how he stumbled into Memphis, Tennessee, hardly crawling, looking dusty. They gave him little water, a little bit of wine. He opened up his eyes that they didn't seem to shine. And the doctor said, give him drug band music. It seems to make him feel just fine. Sister, run quickly to the dusty cupboard shelf And pull out a washboard and play a guitar chord And do a little do-it-yourself Call on your neighbors to put down their labors And come and play the hardware and tiles For the doctor said, give him drug and music It makes smiles of smiles of smiles Surfing in the ocean when it's sun tan lotion when I got wiped out by a beach boy. He was surfing when he hit me and jumped off his board to get me and he grabbed me by the armpit like a child's boy. As we staggered into land with all the waiters eating sandwiches, tried to mooch a towel from the hot boy. He emptied out his eardrums, I emptied out mine. And everybody knows that the very last line is a doctor said, give him drug band music. It seems to make him feel just fine. Thanks, kid. The kids like it. <laughs> I hope you, you kids have done your homework. Oh, okay, well, hey, get, um, Claude, have you ever talked to cows? Certainly. I knew it, because I, I have, too. How about you, Everett? No. No? No. 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 Okay. Well, I was about 15 years ago. It's only happened once or twice in my life that I really heard this. Mabel and, and Margaret were talking to each other. They're cows. It's about 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And Mabel says, Margaret, what do you think of mad cow disease? Mabel says, Margaret, how am I supposed to know? I'm a helicopter. <laughs> so how do uh, crazy people go through the forest? Uh, I, I, I don't know. They take the psychopath. <laughs> Just because I grilled some friends about her Just because I had her follow
march over those same old places those same old places just because she sees me lurking everywhere just because I'm not happy unless I stop Stocking song, S T O C K I N G. Do you wear a stocking cap? <laughs> well, we'd sure like to thank everybody for joining us here tonight. We'd like to put a spiritual every now and again in near the end of one of our Cloud Hoppers programs. And thanks to Alice Lake and uh, John Hose, Bo Peep, the whole staff, the whole gosh darn crew there. Channel 11. And we're gonna we're gonna let Everest uh, ever do a uh, spiritual number for us. Precious memories.